G'day, my name is Tom, this is the Tafflage YouTube channel, and welcome back to our Euro Truck Simulator 2. Let's play this as episode 2. Last episode, we started it off, where we also... We did the tutorial drive, and we also did a drive in Finland. We went from... Let's find out. We went from Tampere to Turku, in the Iveco Stralis. And this episode, we have also added an extra mod. Like I said, every episode we're going to add an extra mod. And today we are doing... Do we do the same drive? Yeah, we'll do the same drive. Because we have to... Or we can do that drive. Because that's... Even a, yeah, we'll do the same drive because... It's the highest... We'll always do the highest... Um paying job. So we are taking the Mercedes at New Atros from Tampere to Turku again. Uh, even though we've already done the drive, we're doing it again. Mainly because we can get the more money we get, the um, the, the more money we get, obviously the bigger experience and whatnot. And um, yeah, so let's do it. So if you are enjoying this Eurotox Simulator 2 Let's Play, make sure you're hitting the like button down below. If you're stopping by for the first time, please subscribe. And let's get to it. And also, that um, thumbnail at the start of that of yesterday's video, the thumbnail I've used, uh, that might be temporarily. I'm going to try and take pictures for each thumbnail with different trucks. I like with Dirt 3, so Let's Play, and Need for Speed Hot Pursuits, so Let's Play. We're just use a generic Hot Pursuit thumbnail fee. <coughs> anyway. Let's get going. Uh, we are hauling aircraft tyres. So, and it is a B double, so we have to be careful getting out of here. So, let's get going. Uh, I'm actually going to turn on the navigation thing because that might make it a little bit interesting. Uh, where are we? Gameplay? No, it's audio, isn't it? I'm going to, I'm going to turn on the. Um, yeah, I think it's on the audio, yeah. I'm going to turn on the um, audio for voice navigation, and I'm going to choose Raspy. Let's see how we go. Right. Okay, here we go. Right, here we go. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so six. It's a twelve speed. So we put it in high gear so it starts second. Let's see how we go. Turn up the volume a little bit because I have to turn it down because it sounds better. Right. We have to be careful getting out of here. Careful. That's it. This truck I shift around about 1500. Some trucks are drive differently. Oh god. Yep, we're going through. Yep. That's it. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. Let's just make it a little bit wider. There we go. We made it. Awesome. Good start. Unlike last episode when we had to cut the episode a little get bit because I couldn't get to out. Turn left. We're turning left. Cool. Let me just move out. Turn left. The uh, navigation. So we've got a four thousand kilometer drive apparently. What? We're going to. Um... Hang on. Yeah, we're going to Turkey. That's not four thousand kilometers. Uh oh. We'll see. How, how true was that? Oh, hey, let's just set the map. Did I accidentally set navigation a navigation fee? Did I? Reset. Yeah, I did. Never mind. So it's Time still, to get the job done. It's still 214 Ks. So away we go. This truck drives really nice. I mean, obviously it's not my favourite truck. I mean, my favourite truck in this game is probably the Scania. To be honest. Uh, sorry, Senior, if you're watching this. I have joined the Dark, dark Side. Scan the new scanners are very nice. The old ones are. If it, if it were, if the new one wasn't there, I'd still go the um, F816 Classic. Yeah. So where we go? So we're going to talk about some gaming news because it's a big gaming news that's going around regarding EA. Um, as you may have heard, uh, Ghost has been. Uh, I think it's been. Um, uh, it's turned into an EA support um, thing, which means 
uh, Need for Speed is being created now by Criteria and Games. Now, I'm going to do a little bit of a thought process of that. Um, Get ready to turn right. As you know, um, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit was actually from Criteria and Games, and that was a brilliant game. I mean, you saw me play it, uh, but the ones after that weren't as good. Like, say, Need for Speed Rivals wasn't as good, and also... Um, Turn right. Most Wanted was uh, very critically acclaimed by the uh, Need for Speed fan base because, because well, um, it so wasn't that good. Like the gameplay wasn't that good. There wasn't like progression like in Hot Pursuit or anything like that. And then, then when they went to, I think that made um, Ghost Games after that game. I'm not too sure. Like I, yeah, I mean, I liked Most Wanted. It was alright. I mean, it wasn't the best Need for Speed ever. Neither was Hot Pursuit. I mean, my favourite hit Need for Speed is Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2. Uh, that was my favourite Need for Speed. Either that or Underground 2 was good. So, yeah. Um, so, that's happening. Um, now, Black Box Games are um, stepping down to be EA support teams. Whilst Criteria Games are taking over the next Get Need for ready Speed. To turn right. And I can tell you right now, Black Panther is not happy. Uh, I've, I've watched a little Turn snip right. of this video and he can't, like, legit. Uh, let me just make sure no one's coming. Cool, we can go. Away we go. Very quiet traffic here in Finland, which is good. Uh, yeah, so yeah, uh, Black Panther is not happy about it. Uh, as well as some of the other Need for Speed enthusiasts. Uh, for me, I don't think there's going to be much that's going to change, because apparently. Most of the ghost um, employees are from Criterion Young Games anyway. So, will it really matter? I don't think so, to be honest. It won't be the end of Need for Speed, to be honest. It might even get better. Like, I'm pretty sure the company will learn, I went with last year. Um, I'm pretty sure the um, company will lo learn about. Um, get ready to turn right. Yeah, learn about uh, their mistake, past mistakes, essentially. So yeah, that's the game we use this right. week, and that's actually a big one. Uh, what else is there to talk about that I've noticed? Oh, next up we're going to talk about um, another YouTuber that I watch uh, that, I, that I haven't mentioned before, Sebet. Um, he's been working with this guy called Okachana Yashio Factory or Yashio Factory however you, however you say it I think that's how you say it in Japanese um, he has like this uh, fleet of cars like he's uh, this guy from um, um, Yashio Factory he says Okachan or Okachan or however you say it and he has been building Actually, no, that's, no, no, that's not what I want to talk about. Um, Sabbath has been, um, like, had a problem with this in Skyline. He has an R33 GTS-T with an R34 front end. And, well, oh, these are beautiful roads. I'll take you a photo here. These are beautiful. Right, let's take a photo in there. Let's take a photo. This is the thumbnail shot. Holy crap, that's gorgeous there. Look at that. Look how skinny the roads are. Let's go for like here. And I can do the text there. So yeah, I'm changing the um oh, no, let's go to blurs though. That's a Yeah. That's not going to do anything. Let's go for there. So, if we find like a nice scenery place, that's what the thumbnail's going to look like. Because that's the thing with Viewer Truck Simulator 2. Which I probably will talk about the final. Oh, well, uh, what I'll talk about in the final of this episode, like the final video. Even though it won't be the final video of Viewer Truck Simulator 2, because this was the staple of the channel. Like, I've played Euro Truck Simulator 2 on the channel a lot. Back in the early days, before I had my long breaks of school. Um, yeah. <laughs> That's essentially the case. It's like, Get ready to the scenery in this game is absolutely beautiful. 
But yeah, Sam and Sam has an R33.4 skyline as he calls it. And he had to fix the uh, Turn left. I'm just gonna go right for all I didn't see anybody coming anywhere before I yeah, he, and he had to fix a docking problem, and he, the um, way to fix that, um, um, he found out, is to use a pry bar, and just move the uh, suspension, like, try to move the suspension and find out where it's, and then he'll find out exactly where it's coming from, which is awesome, I mean, because um, I watched this video, and said, what is there, and I want to see their both point of views of their, um, his Japan trip. Which is awesome. Like, it's good that um, Zach's friend with like 100k subscriber person. I mean, Zach's an awesome guy. If you haven't checked out his channel, um, Zach Bordy on YouTube, he has, and this is Skyline GTST R33, Go and he straight. also has a um, Ford Falcon XR6 Turbo making 440 horsepower. Um, that's the FG, by the way, not the um, BF or a BA. It's an FG. Like, the, better, the best looking Falcon, in my honest Go opinion. straight. So if you haven't checked it out, let him know, um, um, uh, please go check him out, um, and tell him that you, that he came from my videos. Also too, I want to talk about this channel, uh, what, next time I want to talk about Taff Plays. Um, I've been, um, left. I received a comment that one of my obviously two videos is on a different website. Um, uh, which I can fully support. Um, that is, obviouswell.com. Um, I got a comment from the actual owner of I don't know if it's the owner or the of that website saying that the actual video is live on a website on a different website. So if you haven't seen it, it's the Scarborough Foul Scarborough Scarborough Foul, Foul Front um, uh, video where I did the no commentary drive in the Dennis Enviro two hundred. And that video's got like forty views now, which is Insane, like I mean, well, it's not insane. I mean, it's nothing. I mean, compared to say the um, obviously two uh, first impressions of the new DLC. Uh, there is a new DLC out for obviously two. I won't be looking at it though because it's not a bus. It's of the um, traffic pack. Um, if you want to check it out, I mean, I don't really check out any DLCs unless it's a bus. I mean, I don't really check out the maps really as much because maps are expensive. Uh, the buses are not too bad, and you can get it for like yeah. yeah. And you can get it it's like it's a luxury car traffic pack thing. And you can get things like the Lamborghini Aventador, or Ferraris. Like, it's cool, but twenty dollars though, really? For that, I'd rather pay twenty dollars for like a low quality bus, to be honest. Not really. I'm joking. Um, yeah, that could be bad. Anyway, we've got 110 kilometers to go for our trip, and uh, yeah, so let me see what else is there to talk about because I like to talk in these videos because otherwise it's just going to be boring as. Because ETS2 can get a little bit boring. So every episode, like I said, I will be adding a mod to the actual uh, my profile. Uh, we've got three trucks at the moment. I haven't even seen one yet. Uh, I don't think you can get them in quick jobs. That's the thing. I, 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 I like you used to. Uh, some trucks you used to get in quick jobs, like easily. But I don't think you can. Right, easy 80 kilometers an hour. We're doing. What's my fuel economy? 27 liters. For about 30 liters for 100 k, which is about. <coughs> I mean, it's good, but it's not great. I mean, obviously, trucks run out of fuel. Very easy. We we're able to do 80k to Durham, about 1100 RPM, which is very good. Uh, that's about the same as the 2020 Duramax, actually. Um, if you don't follow Street Speed 717, he has a 2020 Duramax. So does Dirty Max Jack. I mean, they're the two YouTubers that I watch who have 2020 uh, Duramaxes. Uh, all Duramaxes, however the hell you say. I say Duramax because I watch American YouTubers. Get ready to turn right. Okay. Turning right here. Alright, uh, looks like we've got a busy, busy intersection coming up, so I'm going to start slowing down. Turn right. Right, let's see if anybody's coming. No. Let's have a look at this sort of way. Alright, where we go? Where we go? 
that was just a few. Cool. We're actually doing a lot better with the B double today. Because yesterday's episode, I was I was pretty bad at it, to be honest. Actually, this is a different way actually to come into Turku, I think. I swear that said 20. No, going why is it 20? Uh, did you see that? Uh, that said 20 k's an hour. I'm sure of it. I'm gonna put this down for armor so it's like a shift. Keep right and then exit right. right exit right, no one's in the mirror there. So I'm exit gonna, right. I'm gonna start driving properly in this game. Yeah, this is a different way of coming in. I don't rem remember this bit. Coming there, because I need to merge. Let's check. Blind spot. Yep, no one's coming. Cool. That's what some driver drivers don't do. Um, is check their blind spot also driving. Come on. If you need to make a change lane, if you need to make change lanes, if you need to do this, you need to do that. Check your blind spot. Otherwise, you'll get people that like to cut in front of you because they don't check their blind spot, make sure there's a big enough gap so they can fit their car in. Like if you watch all those dash cam videos, um, which I've missed the last two, I do apologise about that. They get good views. I was just gonna bring that up because I'm driving in high gear. Uh, I'm gonna it's like it's easy to do far. Okay, that car's a little bit in front of me. I'm gonna keep left and then turn left. Try and see. Yep, I got it in a good. Because I like my other Euro Trust view simulator Turn videos, I want, I want to drive properly, right? Am I clear? Yes, I am. I want to drive properly in this game. For this last play. Alright, we're not in the sim. I want to drive properly. Because in my other video, in my other videos, I like to have stuff around. But if I actually forgot to take a thumbnail picture, I will be using that placeholder image. Like I forgot with the Iveco. Uh, well, but I will be using thumbnail image, like actual photos from me. Keep right. In this, in this and video. And then turn right. And you can see me taking it throughout the video because I've been trying to record it. Turn right. There we go. Third quarter. There we go. Left slides. Why are these not lives blinking? Um, if you're from Finland, let me know why do the lights blink? Yellow. Is that something that Finland does or is that something somewhere else does? I don't know. I honestly don't know. Let's go straight. Go straight. Going straight. I'm staying this way though because I have to turn left. But we're in Turku now, another place that we've, we've discovered Turku already. And then turn left. Okay, right, we're to keep turning left here. Turn left. Right, breaking, 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 that's it. I don't use the engine brake too often, that's another thing too, I should say. I don't use the engine brake, I just use the normal foot brake, just like I've been, like I'm driving a car. Get ready to turn right. Turn right. Get ready to turn left. Turn left. We clear. Not quite. I'm blocking on this side, though. Are you away from? Because I didn't mean that late, mate. Stop and let me through, and now you'll. Right, I'll cut this guy off. Though. Keep right, and then turn right. Because I needed to be in this slide because I'm turning. Right. Turn right. Let's 
suspicious. Get ready to turn left. Uh, oh. Turn left. <laughs> Good. So let's double check. That's the trail. That's the truck. So, oh god. Alright, uh, through the corner. One setting I haven't changed. Let me just quickly change the setting. I, I usually change the uh, to do random parking. <coughs> uh, parking difficulty. I always have random parking. So sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's hard. I don't know. Got the you. Know. Since I've got a V double, it's gonna be easy. It's going to be an easy park, unfortunately. But well, it's a good thing because B doubles are hard to park, I'm pretty sure. Right, there we go. Get ready to turn right. 50 kilometers out, the same speed limit is a left side in Australia. Right. Turn right. Made it. I love this truck. Here we are, safe and sound. Cool. And we're pulling in like so. Perfect. Ah. Oh. I'm going to reverse it. I'm just going to let it do it on its own. There we go. Right, cool. There we go, perfect. Great drive. Excellent, that's what I'm talking about. $5,800 euros, I mean, not dollars. We're not quite level 2 yet. Cool. Well, that's going to be the end of this episode of uh, Euro Truck Simulator 2. Oh, we're going to scan the arrest on the scan the There we go. That's, yeah, that's the last episode, it's a scan the arrest. Um, like I said, every episode I'll add a mod and I also do <coughs> uh, one drive at a time. So, so far we've done two drives to Turku. We haven't really gone that much further. I think the next one might be Turku, I'm not too sure. If it wants to load, that is. And then we got, might be going to uh, Capital Star next. We might be going to uh, branch off to Sweden soon, I'm not too sure. But we've only discovered these two towns so far. I'm hoping that um, improves very soon. Uh, I just want to see, just out of curiosity. Ah, oh, here's one of our trucks, the Ford F Max. There we go. There are in uh, quick jobs. All right, we have to keep an eye out for them. We'll be doing that. We'll be keeping an eye out for them next episode. So, if you enjoyed this video of Euro Truck Simulator 2, make sure you hit the like button down below. If you're stopping by for the first time, please subscribe. Next episode, we'll continue on. Hopefully, we can visit another country, not stick with Finland. Um, because I want to branch off and see if I can discover a completely different country. Because like, obviously the goal with this let's play is to discover a whole country. Uh, so far we've only discovered two cities. So thank you very much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, do everything like that. Till then, see you next time. Take care. Bye bye.